nice and quiet out here. Nobody around for miles. Jim Bean Black, extra age. Because black liquor matters. Sitting here waiting for the super moon to rise up. Should be coming up right over there somewhere. Might be a good enough spot to see it. Took apart my 1911 Delta Elite 10 millimeter Colt. It's been sitting up for a pretty good while. And I'm gonna get rid of all that old grease and dust that was in it and all. So I took it all apart. Everything except the uh, ejector, the barrel lug. Cleaned it all out with some denatured alcohol. Then I'm going to heat it up, put some frog lube on it, let it set up again. Some parts I'm thinking about changing on it, doing a trigger job on it. I took out the um, 80 series. firing pin block deal that goes in there. Or this a couple years ago, we just never did put it in. It's that little shim that takes the place of all that other stuff. Put that in there. While I got it apart, I'm going to show what is meant by unsupported barrel. I first heard about it through um, Underwood Ammo because I wanted to get some. I heard all good stuff about it, how powerful it was. I was going to get some. I went up to their website and they said Delta Elite's not supported. So I called them up a couple years ago and said, What do you mean it's not supported? I said, What is supported? And the only answer I got from them was it doesn't have a feed ramp. Well, I'm thinking, well, feed ramp has nothing to do with it. I mean, that feed ramp's what makes the bullet go in. I mean, it has nothing about supporting it. But then I found out later, somehow I forgot how. What they, mean, what they mean by not supported is this area right here this is where the um, extractor grabs a hold to it so that part's not going to be covered up but it's this part right there just before you get to the primer and the extractor part that's not supported. So you can see the rim all the way around. What happens when it's a heavy load like that, it makes that part expand. It works. I mean, it's, if you do like reloads, it's going to end up weakening that spot and it's going to crack. Then you have a stuck case. And here's the Glock 20. That's the reason why I got a Glock. Because uh, I wanted to use that type of ammo. Here's a Glock 20. They say it is supported. See all you see is where the extractor hits. You don't see that casing part. Except a little bit right there by the feed ramp. But it's not really noticeable. It's tight. 
this is a match barrel it's not the factory barrel on um, Glock, Glock's loose factory barrel and this is factory barrel from Colt 10 millimeter it's a little bit loose it's not quite as loose as a Glock factory barrel but still a little loose but it's made loose just why the reason why Glock makes theirs loose so it can take any kind of ammo that is what's meant by not supported barrel chamber Starting to crest the lower trees now. <laughs> 